uh, you could redo the quest on a higher level, which I did. So I am currently in the Iridium Blight. Let's pull up the map. Now, you can see it's a fairly extensively large level. The place we're eventually going to be heading for is over here. I don't think that objective marker is going to stay, though, when I move. So the first step in this uh, uh, Easter egg is to travel all the way back to the very beginning to Claptrap's place. This is the very first zone in the game. And, uh, when you're here before, yeah, the money drops are a lot bigger now that I'm level 50. Okay. And this time I have guns. <laughs> Alright, so the first uh, thing to do is head back into this room. And if you look in the fireplace, this, this, this is only here on a secondary run-through. Geary's Unbreakable Gear. You pick it up, and uh, it doesn't actually pull up a quest marker because this is a hidden quest. Now that I have the gear, you have to walk all the way to the Iridium Blight without using a vehicle or fast travel. So this is, uh, Knuckle Dragger will spawn over here. All the bosses will respawn if you go back to their areas, I think. No, not here. Uh, it's the next little area. I should be able to take him down pretty quick. I got my shotgun. Shotgun! Oh, he's already throwing stuff at me. He's only level 33 and I'm level 50, so he's, he's feeling a little intimidated, a little inadequate. One shot! Boom! <laughs> Shotgun to the face. There's another... Uh, uh, mode, I believe, after I finish, uh, well, this is called True Vault Hunter Mode, meaning that you run through the story once and come back and you're running it again. Let's see. Now, because we're, we're on the uh, Easter Egg quest, we can't use fast travel or vehicles, nor are we allowed to die. If you die, you drop the ring. If you fast travel, you drop the ring. If you use a vehicle, you drop the ring. So, and you have to start all over once you, if you drop it, so. <laughs> Here we are in Liarsburg. I don't think you really have to fight much of anything uh, up to a point. Um, you do get to a point where you have to have some fights, but um, you want to avoid it if possible because if you die, you have to start over. Good thing he don't have to go through that whole thing. <laughs> over there. Um, you can just go straight to the boat and it'll take you to the uh, next zone. I'm actually on a quest that will take me to the Iridium Blight, so I just follow the quest markers. Here we go. Three horns divide. Now, on the first playthrough of any character, this bridge collapses completely, but you notice that on... Uh, true Vault Hunter mode, it leaves one beam that you can walk across. 
because of this Easter egg. If that beam wasn't there, you'd have to use a vehicle to jump the gap. Or, uh, do, uh, um, a rocket jump. Where rocket jump is where you use the rocket launcher and you shoot at your feet and it flees you up in the air. Certain shields will allow you to do that, but, uh, since I am on the quest, you guys suck. You're too low a level. <laughs> okay, now normally you would grab a vehicle here and jump over this, but uh, the uh, Easter egg quest will not allow you to use a vehicle any kind at any point, so you have to jump uh, and then go across here and we're across. Now there's two ways to get to the next zone. As you can see, there's two quest markers on the mini-map. very end you need to make sure you're not wielding a spike shield because there's an NPC who will attack you and if he dies you have to start over since not picking up the loot. <laughs> um, anyway, here we're going. The um, reason I'm running through this is um, there was a guy, um, a video on YouTube showing most of how to do this, but he didn't do an entire run through. He skipped over a bunch of stuff, which confused one guy who was commenting in the, uh, in the chat how he couldn't find a, a certain bridge that the guy used thing is that uh, he skipped over how to get to that bridge in the video, and I thought he was talking about this other bridge that only partially collapsed uh, on the second run through, when in fact he was talking about uh, some bridge in the uh, Iridium Blight. He thought it was like a magic bridge that only appeared if you were on the quest, but the Iridium Blight doesn't change at all, whether or not you're doing the quest, so... Seriously, I really don't need to even fight these guys. I could probably just tank them. But... I guess when I upload this to YouTube, I'll probably speed it up and uh, put uh, uh, yakety sacks in the background or something. Yakety sacks makes anything funny, right? <laughs> uh, many people refer to it as the Benny Hill theme, but its actual name is Yakety Sax. And it's used quite a bit for chases and things, particularly when they're sped up. So when I put this on YouTube, I might speed up all this running and play Yakety Sax uh, over it. That'll be fun. Uh, but, uh, right now we're headed to the, uh, let's make sure, uh, let's check the main map. Yeah, there's two ways to get to Three Horns Valley. I don't know which one is closer to the entrance to the dust. Quite possibly it's the one, uh, up a little further north, I think. <laughs> yeah, 
this. I've, I've got a pretty nice uh, shotgun. Let's take a look at that just to show you what I'm wielding. I'm using Sledge's shotgun, uh, which drops in a, uh, a quest in the fridge. It is a pretty awesome shotgun, actually. Um, and if you run low on ammo, there's always those ammo machines stashed around the map. Um, I think I'll just go th this way. Take the closer of the paths. <laughs> This doesn't really take all that long to do. The, the longest part is just the walking. And if I wasn't at the current level cap, <laughs> it would be a little, uh, little more difficult. Looks like this was actually the correct way to go. I do believe the... Uh, Entrance to the dust is right around the corner here. I hope. Or not. Uh, yeah, well, it's around the corner and down the bend. This is the other entrance. Um, yeah, it's not that much closer, really. Just keep running. No vehicles allowed. Super badass slags. What are you doing? Chewing on my butt. Drop by the ammo machine over here just to make sure I have plenty of shotgun ammo. Welcome to my humble shop. Thanks for the stretch. May it help you kill many things. Yes, it will. Um, let's see. See, I keep these two. One, one is fire and one is uh, electricity, because different elemental types are useful in certain situations. Sell all the stuff I don't need, and on we go. Sends vehicle the entire way. <laughs> now this next zone, the dust, is a little tougher uh, to get through on foot because there's vehicles driving around who will try to run you over. If they run you over, it's pretty much an instant kill. Um, I, at the, I, last time I got run over, it actually put me in fight for your life, which means if you get a kill, it re recovers you. You can go into fight for your life, but if you actually die, meaning that you didn't get a kill before the timer runs out on fight for your life, uh, then you lose the uh, entire uh, run and you have to redo it. Now, because there's vehicles here, I'm going to switch to a uh, corrosive gun. So this deals special damage to uh, vehicles. He's too far away to really get a good hit on him. So you'll notice he his um, bar is yellow instead of green or red. That means he's armored, and corrosive damage uh, deals extra damage to armored things. I gotta watch out for vehicles here. Suck to be them. And I keep 
an eye out for cars here. Don't want to get run over. Don't care about the bugs. The bugs can do whatever they want. Well, maybe not. Okay, just to be clear. Oh, he's uh, he's got slag, so he's immune to slag weapons. <laughs> Not immune to shotguns, though. Okay. Let's make sure we're reloaded. Best to stay near the edge of the zone if a vehicle does come along. Have some place to run to where they can't exactly uh, just ram you. Well, they could ram you up against the wall here, but you, you should be able to dodge them as they're coming in. and not ever see one. <laughs> oh, there's the another buzzard. Sucks to be you. Me and my corrosive gun. So it's right on the other side of this hill here. I thought the heavy was an appropriate avatar for this one since I'm playing the Gunzerker. <laughs> Being at the cap, level cap. I'm pretty tough. Okay. Keep into the high ground here. Still don't see any, uh... We'll, uh, gonna make it here. Never even saw a vehicle. Well, not sure if the, uh, the spawn trigger for the bandit vehicles might be disabled or something. I might have been doing a quest that uh, turns them off for some reason. But, looks like we made it to the entrance to the Iridium Blight. Got one more zone to run through, and we'll have finished the Lord of the Rings achievement. The reward isn't anything that great. It's it's three chests, um, and the the fun of seeing Geary uh, snatch the uh, the gear from you and jump in the lava. He is the uh, the XP for Gollum in this thing. Okay, so here we go, into the Iridium Blight. Now, so here's the Iridium Blight again. Yeah, my, my custom location didn't stay, but I can put it down again. That's where I'm headed for. Get back to uh, the shotgun. Little uh, 
volcanic ash in the air here. Oh, we got combat. What is it we're fighting? Uh, oh! Some variation of bully mongs, I think. I think I could just ignore them and keep going. I haven't walked across this zone yet since I started replaying the game, so I am not sure if they were follow us or... Nope, they just de -aggroed. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that gun's going to start shooting at me. Hello, gun. Ignore me, please. Thank you. All right, the path to get to the uh, thing is fairly circuitous. We have to go all the way to this end. I'm not going to bother with any other quests right now. Like I said, I'm at the level cap, I think. It said uh, max level for now, but my XP bar has been moving, albeit very, very slowly. Whoop. knock my shield down. Super badass. Come at me one more time, bro. Boom. Okay. All right. so it doesn't shoot me as I go across the bridge here. Once we cross the bridge, we're going to need to turn towards our objective. a purple uh, fumarole over there. That is a landmark. Go up here on the left side of this and keep to the left as we go over towards the little town. See a bridge with some uh, little flags uh, strung over it. Like I said, this uh, this isn't really that hard. Your only real question as to whether you could do it is if you get randomly hit with uh, fire as you're going over some bridges over here. Okay, we got the little flags here across this bridge. Got the lava flowing below. Mount Hillsfont. Not Mount Doom, but that's that's what it's uh, taking the place of in this uh, reference, this Easter egg. Okay, and we go up this uh, road here. That's some broken archways. And I believe this is the bridge that uh, the YouTube questioner was asking about. He thought it just didn't appear, but it uh, it's always here. 
It's just the other guy wasn't showing the whole path. Gotta jump here, and we're over. There's another bridge similar to that up ahead. We're almost there. As long as we don't mess up and jump in the lava or something. Oh, and if you do jump in the lava, you have to start all the way back at uh, Claptrap's place. <laughs> so try not to miss any of these jumps. See, this thing pretends it's going to push you in the lava, but it doesn't move far enough to actually do so. So, okay, we got another jump here. Yeah. And then we got this uh, area here where the lava goes up and down, obscuring this path. We got across just fine. We got singed a little bit, but we're, we got a good shield, so. Here we go. And here is the guy. He's going to run up and hit us, and then go jump in the lava. Why? I don't know. Hello, Geary. Uh, you, you took the ring from me, huh? And he's going to jump in the lava. Ah! Sploosh! Sucks to be him. Then three uh, racks are going to fly in. Don't shoot them, because... Uh, they're just delivering your reward. Three chests. I mean, they're nothing, nothing, you know, super fantastic, but that's the uh, Lord of the Rings reference. See, there's one chest that's guaranteed to have something good. Um, let me check it against my existing. Uh, Okay, it's actually better than the uh, rocket launcher I've got, so let me equip that. And then we got a couple of guns. Probably no great shakes. Actually, it does a little bit more damage than the one I'm using, so... Oh, and this one actually does even more. Lower magazine size, though. Um, hmm. Fine. Okay. And now that we're done with that, you could either jump in the lava and and just uh, fat, use that to fast travel out, or uh, run run uh, out like this. This will take us up, uh, there's one other chest that's always up here. Um, Tightrope walking. Oh. <laughs> okay, and there's another chest here. can always use Iridium, right?